So originally, these trees were actually planted in 1959. It is cherry blossom season here in Hyde Park. Now, there are two schools of thought. You either love it or you hate it. Now, if you're from in and around this neighborhood of Hyde Park, it does get a little bit annoying because of the amount of people that come to the park, tons of traffic, but there are tons of people from all over the city and from all over the province that actually come to see these cherry blossoms. Chiz, what do you think? Well, it just took us like an hour and a half to park, so it's rather annoying. Huh? Yeah, it did. It took us an hour and a half to park, and the city is slam packed. Look at how many people are in and around here. I'm gonna show you this line to the bathroom. It's actually insane. It literally wraps around the corner. A lot of people are gonna be squirming in their pants. <laughs> <laughs> Everything is blocked off, so it's really hard to get into the actual park here too. You, you can't drive in, so the only people that can drive in are cops. Says, you're looking good, that's a nice jacket right there. <laughs> we'll go around the loop. Um, we'll get to the cherry blossoms. We'll see how crazy it is over there and we'll see if it's actually worth the wait. And then you can comment and let us know if you think it's worth the wait to, you know, to hold off and wait to see these things. So do you think it's worth it? Be honest. It's worth it for the first time, but then, you know, after the hundredth time, whatever. All right, so you can clearly see how packed the park is. Straight ahead, you'll see where the cherry blossoms start. The thing about Hyde Park is that it has a lot of these little cool trails that a lot of people don't know about. Um, so I'll show you one of them coming up right here on the right. How many times do you think that we've been in this park? Like ballpark guests? Thousands. Yeah. Oh, I know it says bike riding prohibited. But we used to come here all the time. Guys. Well, High Park has these incredible fields. So soccer, a lot of people play football. And then there's tennis courts over there. There's a hockey rink. Here's where the cherry blossoms start as well. This isn't the main area for them, so we're gonna keep walking. And look how much busier it gets just down there. So here's the official entrance of where the majority of these cherry blossoms are here. So we're just gonna go right this way. Take a look. Originally, these trees were actually planted in 1959 with the help of the Japanese in Toronto after World War II. So there's been constant um, replanting of these trees, 2001, 2006. But take a look, it's actually, it's actually very beautiful. have to say hi to my boy right here the great cherry blossom wizard <laughs> well, as we're walking down this hill we're walking towards grenadier pond in the winter that's frozen we play shinny on there but take a look it's beautiful actually yeah. kind of want to go for a dip take a look behind me it's actually so beautiful everyone's on the hill you have grenadier pond down there look at that glisten I just have to say, this is so beautiful. So Lakeshore is right down there. In the summer, this part of the park is known for just hanging out and drinking beers with your friends. And that's exactly what a lot of those people are doing right there. Pretty much every weekend in the summer. shape. Hiking. We are walking up onto the Grenadier Cafe. Really popular cafe here in Hyde Park. It's right over here. They have pretty much anything you want, but um, I love the breakfast here, to, to be perfectly honest. We're just trying to get a pop because there's so many lines everywhere. Um, it'd be nice to get a beer though, wouldn't it? Yeah, I'll be blessed. I'm gonna stand over there. See how big the line's gonna be in here.
anybody who grew up in this neighborhood played a little bit of High Park baseball, so they're right over there. So here you have the High Park ball hockey league right over here. They just started this recently, actually, but it's pretty cool, so look. How many times do you think we've played shinny on that ring? Hundreds. And here we have one of my favorite tennis courts in the whole city. I've been coming here since I was a kid. Take a look here. Right here. That's the end of our Cherry Blossom video. Thank you so much for watching. If you were to rate the Cherry Blossoms out of 10, what would you rate them? It'll be like a 9.5 if it's your first time, but if it's a hundredth time like us, probably 6.5. So 9.5 if it's your first time seeing it, 6.5 if it's your hundredth time. I would go seven and a half out of 10 right now, just because of the vibes. Like so many people are back out and about. There's just an energy, it's a good vibe. Amazing overall. If you haven't been, I think it's something worth checking out in Toronto. Anything else to add? It's a blessed time. It's a blessed time. Thanks again for watching. Uh, make sure to like and subscribe and see you in the next video. Thank you.